the justice's remarks drew more criticism as well as some support. Speaking in Rome at a religious liberty summit, Alito, 72, spent only a couple of minutes on the subject of abortion and then only to discuss his foreign critics, an unusual step for a high court justice. Dressed in a tuxedo and sporting a beard he sometimes grows when the court is out of session, Alito quipped that the ruling he authored had been lambasted by a whole string of foreign leaders, then joked that British Prime Minister Boris Johnson had paid the price for his comments. The decision by the court's conservative majority led roughly a dozen states to shut down or severely restrict abortions within days. Eventually half of U.S. states are expected to ban or seriously restrict the procedure. Alito also drew laughs from the audience at the conference, sponsored by the University of Notre Dame Law School, when he said that, what really wounded me were remarks made by Britain's Prince Harry. The law school posted the video this week. Alito was not identified in advance as a speaker at the conference. While justices routinely engage in pointed exchanges with their colleagues in dueling opinions, they rarely respond to outside critics. I think the most important thing is that this is not how our justices are supposed to behave. Yet there is no prohibition on justices discussing cases publicly once they are decided," said Akhil Reedamar, professor of constitutional law at Yale Law School. This was slightly impertinent on their part, Amar said, who also praised Alito for responding with a little bit of wit and style. The justice's speech drew criticism Friday from U.S. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, D.N. The speech comes amid a sharp increase in the portion of Americans who say their confidence in the Supreme Court is eroding. A poll from the Associated Press Nork Center for Public Affairs research this week found 43% of Americans have hardly any confidence in the court, up from just 27% three months ago. It's also sparked profound changes in other medical care, with some doctors declining immediate treatment for serious health problems related to reproductive care for fear of running afoul of strict abortion bans. He has been a justice since 2006, appointed by President George W. Bush. Four years later, attending President Barack Obama's State of the Union speech, Alito was caught on camera mouthing the words not true in response to Obama's criticism, also unusual, of another major, conservative-driven court decision, the Citizens United case, that opened the floodgates to corporate and union spending in federal election campaigns. Alito has never addressed that controversy in public, but it seems clear from the questions he posed when the court heard arguments that he objected to Obama saying the ruling reversed a century of law 